गाइज मैं हूँ गुड़गांव में और मैं हूँ ग्रेट लेक्स इंस्टीट्यूट मैनेजमेंट गुड़गांव में वी आर गोन टॉक टू द पी जी पी एम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूट एंड वी गोन टू सी हाउ दिस करिकुलम दैट द कॉलेज ऑफर्स इज प्रिपेयरिंग डैम टू बी इंडस्ट्री रेलिवेंट हमने कुछ बच्चे इकट्ठा किए उनसे मैं बात करूँगा लकी टू टॉक टू दैम एंड दे विल टॉक टू अर्स अबाउट द करिकुलम लाइफ इन ग्रेट लेक्स एंड अभी क्या नए रोल्स आ रहे हैं अभी के रोल्स में क्या क्या चीज़ों की जरूरत है जो कि यू नो विच आर वेरी न्यू एंड विच ऑल एम बी स्कूल शुड इंटीग्रेट इन डे कोर्सेज जैसे कि एनालिटिक्स हो गया ए आई हो गया तो हम बात करेंगे लेट्स फाइंड आउट इन डिटेल अबाउट दीज एंड लेट्स फाइंड आउट वॉट डू नीड टू बी अ बेटर इंडस्ट्री प्रोफेशनल राइट नाउ आफ्टर एम बी ए Guys, what better place to talk about the curriculum of Great Lakes uh, than the classrooms of the institute? So we are. I'm in the classroom of the institute. You can see it's very state of the art, very modern. And I have three students with me. Uh, let's talk to them. Tell me about the curriculum and also tell us about the specializations which are in offer. Which specializations have you done? And what makes the curriculum of Great Lakes PGPM unique? Uh, in Great Lakes, Gorgon, we have. A five specializations uh, one is uh, digital strategy uh, next one is operations finance marketing and the final one is uh, uh, data analytics and aml so which is the uh, best one in the campus because uh, our campus is the one in the country who implemented analytics as the major okay. in uh, management school so and we have a best professors also in the campus and here is it's not only analytics it is a data analytics and aml artificial intelligent and machine learning yeah. so we are not only uh, uh, learning analytics we are learning a as well as the ml in our curriculum yeah. and i chose that is my major and that and why great lakes is it is at first uh, business school in the country to implement and yeah. we have a professor called uh, bappa aditya who is the top professors in the country in terms of analytics i think he is a top 6 or top 5 i am not sure but he is in top 10 in the country so which gives us the clear ideal a uh, way how to proceed in our camp Perfect. and the curriculum wise uh, we are uh, we are in the third term now so we have a subject called business intelligence so there we are learning three technologies or uh, in class so which is uh, power bi tableau and the sql so every student learns it, it uh, every student yeah. because it is in the uh, curriculum so that means analytics these are analytics tools. yeah yeah, yeah. So these are embedded for everyone it's everyone great, great. Yeah, so business intelligent is the uh, base of because uh, from term 4 we need to choose our major minor so in term 3 uh, in term 2 we studied analytics and in ba which is in the term 3 we are learning this kind of uh, technologies which helps us to understand what is analytics which is who are all new to the uh, maj- uh, this kinds of uh, domain so it help us so whether it gives a clear idea whether you need to go with analytics or uh, you need to go with digital strategy you need to uh, how aml will be uh, useful in our future career goals could you give some examples when you talk about how a- ai is integrated to these Ah, uh, so uh, for example, uh, we have a, a professor who called uh, Simarjit. So he specifically conducted workshop for Chat GPT. Okay. So prompt engineering, mm-hmm. how you can use prompt engineering. So uh, uh, what you are going to give is the uh, what Chat GPT is going to give. So he conducted around six to eight sessions till now. Great. So uh, what kind of prompt you can give? How uh, so these are apart from the curriculum. This, this is, is apart course. from the okay. curriculum. This is because these are guest lectures. Ah, and he's an industry expert. It's not a guest lecture. Okay, hmm. yeah. So he's an industry professional or he's a faculty. So he also cons- he does consulting in the outside world also. Understood. And he is a full time professor great. here. Great. So he is on campus all the time, most of the time. So great. we are very benefit beneficial to have him here. So he conducted around eight nine sessions, and at the end of sessions. we had to present him uh, some presentation and about what we learned so it was quite an insightful session uh, insightful learning uh, you know yeah. with respect to jni because it was new to most of us and prompt engineering as such is a very big thing in nowadays so it's quite industry specific tell me more about this because i think chat gpt and what you said about prompt engineering that you can apply to all jobs and all if not all most jobs and most roles so how you know did you learn to apply it where can you apply it where did you apply it what were the projects that you do uh, so 
यू माइट नॉट नो पी डब्ल्यू सी एंड डिलॉइट आर टू मेजर कंसल्टिंग फॉर्म्स टू मेजर बिग फॉर्म्स हु हैव इन्वेस्टेड वन बिलियन डॉलर इन जेन आई टेक्नोलॉजीज सो दैट वॉज द बेसिस वे फ्रॉम वेर ही स्टार्टेड द सेशन लाइक टू शो अस द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट फाइव ईयर्स एंड वी हैव बिन डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स इन द पास थ्री टर्म्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट्स Uh, were completed because of the use of prompt engineering and chat gpt wow because it it gives us a very broad view of everything and it contains all the facts from around the world so that gives us an insight and edge over every, everybody else that is not using it so yeah that's how gen ai is important for us great i've heard uh, so you guys are placed right uh, yeah. so i've heard uh, that uh, most jobs and job descriptions now require analytics and ai is it true Talk to us about it, and talk to us about your one, you know, yours in particular as well. Where you also um, asked to have some of these AI and analytics skills in your placements, in your job placements. So um, we know that in current industry, everyone is having domain knowledge, hmm. be it finance, be it operations, be it strategy. But here we are learning how to embed our analytical knowledge in different sectors. Okay. I'll give you an example. We have uh, the subject called as business intelligence. Mm. So here we had made use of Power BI to do different comparative analysis. So when we talk about any organization, the main objective of organization is to increase the profit or the sales. right mm. how are we going to achieve that by using different technologies whether a company should uh, invest more on marketing or whether a company should how a company should manage their inventories everything is performed with the help of analytics yeah. and analytics is a huge uh, a big umbrella yeah. under that there is python there is machine learning there is natural language processing and you learn all of these here. so till third semester we have learned we have common subjects till third semester from fourth semester onwards we have major minor specializations but even with specializations if i am taking marketing as a major just giving an example I do have marketing retail analytics where I will be learning marketing how to apply analytics in marketing as well wow. how to understand consumer behavior where for I'll give you one example Zara Zara has a uh, Zara mall uh, I mean Zara yeah. showroom yeah. it's a uh, complete white right mm -hmm. usually women when they enter they feel like buying clothes when there is lot of space between different compartments okay this analytics this um, psychology insight, yeah. this insight was achieved by using analytics Understood. so these are very interesting uh, you know insights we get by using analytics in marketing what she's saying and i will summarize this is you need analytics to you know make uh, data based decision making in all decisions whether you're doing marketing finance hr and even though you may or may not have taken analytics specializations this you will have taken analytics specializations but analytics still embedded needs to be embedded in all uh, courses basically so that you are a uh, well equipped manager and that is what great lakes is doing now since analytics is new not all b schools may be doing it but at least here they are studying this guys i have with me now saloni and debarita uh, of course they also come with some great work experience and why do you choose this college i am currently here at great lakes because uh, you know how the world is transforming all the gen ai transformation digital transformations is happening and you know as a co developer you just stick to all the development roles and you don't want to do that in the future so you know for the transformation as to how from a developer to a business Manager, yeah. woman uh, how you can turn that uh, this is what great lakes is for and that is the platform that great lakes provides us great that's great uh, can you tell me about the specialization that you'll be pursuing here Uh, yes so here i'll be pursuing digital strategy as my specialization um and so it's very new i've never heard of it because yes, in my yes it's very new yeah. um like i have also not heard about it before <laughs> but after coming here like um, i knew the importance of digital strategy because as the world is transforming digitally it is very important for us also to keep up with it so uh, because of that also and like the subjects that are being covered in the um, curriculum of digital strategy is very important for us to be a leader in the corporate like everyone can go in the corporate but for being a leader in a corporate is very important for us to be ahead of the trends that are going on yeah, in the industry yeah, yeah. so that is why um, i think digital strategy is new but exciting and fun talk to us more about this curriculum and more about life at great lakes pgpm despite the fact that you are bringing work experience so you must know how to use some tools like excel maybe mm -hmm. or coding maybe but what additional uh, you know other things that you learned that uh, you know are had made have made you more equipped for the industry 
so uh, great lakes have students from diverse backgrounds not only from btech backgrounds so it's not like if you are choosing analytics that means we need to learn hardcore coding only mm-hmm. analytics means how we are applying uh, our uh, you know how we are doing business how we are doing business using tech you don't have to do coding it's mm. more about consulting mm. so uh, as people are from commerce arts and tech background we all are able to learn analytics here to understand what is python how to apply python how to perform different how to gather different insights and life in great lakes i would say it's um, there are a lot of projects here they are more moreover they are focusing on practical knowledge as compared to theoretical knowledge for every subject we have pres- every day presentations i would say if we have 20 hour sessions for one subject i would say we will we are spending 15 hours on presentations itself wow. on practical do- on practical knowledge itself and then last we are and it's all group ba- group wise so we are kind of collaborating we are sharing ideas we are sharing our expertise so when we are even making a group the group is from diverse backgrounds someone for commerce people can t- uh, talk numbers about finance so they are telling what are the financial aspect of doing the particular project tech people are able to execute it by using yeah. by creating dashboard wow. so you know it's a very good experience we are getting for every subject okay but now also tell us about uh, this is the academic part of the curriculum uh, one year is still a short time to do an mba in india where two year mba is more prevalent how hectic is your schedule what are the additional do you get time to be involved in the additional mba activities as well apart from the rec- curriculum so it's a big stereotype that one year mba is hectic <laughs> i know it's bit hectic <laughs> but people from different diverse backgrounds can actually come and do it <laughs> it's not you know too hectic or too busy for a person to not diverge into it if mm. you are planning to come out of your comfort zone and come out of your job to do mm. an mba mm-hmm. then i think you are well equipped to do a one year mba mm-hmm. you know it's not like you will enjoy campus life for another two years because again for two years you will be again in a monotonous life but one year it will be fast paced it will be industry driven it will be analytic analytical based there so you know getting that industry knowledge into your course and learning a lot out of it is what great lex is people will think that a uh, two, two year course and one year course that two year will be best and mba or something like that but here in great lex the one year course and the two year course the syllabus is same while we are opting for one year we are physically and the mentally we are prepared that this is what we are going to do that because even though because we are doing one year it helps us to serve one more year in our career wise because if you are two year now everything will be slow and you are w- wasting one year in those kinds of thing but we are coming here we are studying the same syllabus same curriculum which tier is also doing and we are coming from corporate which gives more advantage and we are studying in a way that we are incul- inculcating our experience and as uh, shushmita has mentioned that we are doing all this technology we are studying all this technology but not in the technical way because if you want coding you can go to chat gpt you can go to gemini and do prompt you'll get the coding but here professors are teaching us the way the manager the way the senior emplo- uh, senior management how you can interpret from the results so we are how not studying uh, how you can mm-hmm. see the results yeah, yeah. so uh, that is a way which the uh, learnings which you are getting from here okay. and the life itself it is critical but at the same time it is happy because we are enjoying so this, because this is the final year in our final studies or i'll say final uh, study a uh, phase in our uh, life i don't i i think so so at the same time it is hectic it is packed but at the same time we are enjoying how are you enjoying are you part of committees are you pursuing any hobbies here ah uh, uh, so for example we have badminton court uh, and we have uh, volleyball we have cricket and today also i think we have planned for cricket oh. at 5 o'clock wow. and we have basketball uh, and we have amphitheater so our college uh, will be maximally in by 4:30 we'll have one hour or one and a half hours of snacks break after that we have gym also wow. and uh, music rooms dance room everything you have so i'm a badminton player and the cricket player so once i done i'll do my uh, is there any assignments or is there any presentation as she mentioned we have every day presentation and the presentation will be we need to come with a, come with suits and we need to give the proper presentation if you are come with unprepared if professor figure it out you are screwed up great, great. and because we are presenting in front of 80 peers 
it's not like that only we are giving for the sake because 80 peers is there they are not freshers mm. everyone has a different knowledge everyone has coming from different background so uh, no one is wasting the time by giving the sake of presentation everyone is coming with well prepared we are making presentation presentation till 4 am 5 am 3 am we are making the contacts so that those 5 minutes and those 8 minutes of our presentation needs to be on top notch yeah. that's what we want to do that thank you thank you for this passionate answer and thank you ah. for these answers all of you tell me about so one question that i had reserved to ask for the last is uh, when people join a one year mba course there's a big opportunity cost because you have substantial work ex your salary is higher than what it was earlier so why should someone join great lakes one year program at gurgaon leaving a job what would be your uh, suggestion what would you answer to him or her see you don't want to be stuck in a previous role and you would want to you know grow grow and transform and you know the the journey of uh, being a novice and uh, then digitally transforming i mean the technologies that have come up especially the courses the various courses that uh, great lakes has newly introduced uh, being like? digital strategy okay. digital strategy incorporates uh, technical product manager roles oh. uh, uh, digital enterprise roles and so these kind of uh, courses and roles are what uh, helps us mm. to you know digitally transform uh, not just uh, theoretically but practically as well yeah. we have various businesses running here we do the those things practically here and implement those things here i mean the ar vr section uh, of great lakes gurgaon is especially so transformational and so brilliant mm. uh, that the that in within one month we could see the kind of transformation great lakes has given us wow. uh, it's just not uh, limited uh, as to what we were taught earlier but the journey has been i mean substantially great yes great thank you that answers very well i mean the fact that she's already talking about such new age terms like ar vr digital strategy uh, it means that the curriculum of great lakes at least one year pgpm is equipped with all these uh, tools which are necessary to do well in today's jobs and i think which is fair enough reason to pursue this course guys we saw the passion of the students who've come with a lot of work ex in the answers when we asked them about the curriculum of great lakes gurgaon uh, it's actually very industry oriented very new what you need today you know in the corporate world we saw how all new age tools uh, were embedded uh, in the specializations and the curriculum of great lakes if you have any questions ask to me in comments ask me in comments uh, and if you feel like joining do apply to this college all the best stay safe and take care